So there's a website called Workaway where you can message people anywhere in the world asking if you can come and work for them for room and board. Things can range from volunteering in a hostel to working on a farm, taking care of children to shooting tourism videos and everything in between. I wanted to go to France, so I was messaging different people trying to find something. In walked Josiane, who messaged me back right away telling me to come work at their little home. Her description said that her and her husband owned a small orchard and several buildings, with one of them being a wood shop for building hurdy-gurdies. I'd maybe be doing some gardening and helping out in the wood shop, I didn't really know, but I bought a plane ticket and flew to Toulouse in the south of France. Josiane and Daniel picked me up at the airport in their big white van, and we drove to their home where they gave me a tour. And where was I staying? Tu vois cette maison là? C'est là que tu vas habiter. They gave me a house. A full house. Well, not just me. Virginie is also volunteering here. Salut. The first day I stacked some wood, moved some hay, and ate some cheese. And then I asked what a hurdy-gurdy is. C'est une vieille à roue. Whoa! And this is their son playing the same instrument. I know. Right? A hurdy-gurdy is sort of like a hand-cranked violin with a wheel that turns against the strings, similar to a violin bow, to produce sound. It has a keyboard that bends the strings to produce different notes. And over the past 40 years, Daniel has made 160 of them himself in his little workshop. And it all got a bit better when my friend Maye came to join me. If you have the ability, go out and find a place to live and volunteer that gets you into a new environment, trying new things and meeting new people. For me, it was extra interesting working entirely in my second language. There are dozens of websites that can give you these opportunities, and all you have to do is push yourself out there and say yes. <laughs>